Hello, my fellow repair men and repair women, if such do exist. This video is for you. I want to talk a little bit about my tester, the tester that I use uh, to see the amount of amps the card would draw, as well as the voltage drop, if any. Um, every time I fix graphics cards so this is a idea this was a DIY project and it's pretty simple to make um, I had to 3d print the the case the box for it so um, you will have to buy the display itself they're relatively cheap I do have a fuse here the fuse is rated to blow uh, roughly uh, roughly about four four amps or so and um, I picked the fuse that actually says three amps 250 volts so this is like a typical fuse but it will blow I think it'll blow like at four amps or something I'm not sure or at three or maybe two and a half something like that I kind of handpicked the fuse that blow that blows at roughly I think like two and a half maybe three amps I don't know the rating on there is completely irrelevant uh, because it's calibrated to 250 volt, not for 12. We're only dealing with 12 volts here. So anyway, I had a riser, and so the riser is basically screwed on top of this box. And then I have a switch, and then the power is coming in through the back. On the back, I have a regular DC jack. You can buy those like dollar per five or something. I don't know. In China and then these uh, handy connectors are really cool I really like them uh, a good thick cable doesn't need to be like super thick I, we're only dealing with maybe three amps at best so no need to go like crazy and then it just plugs it in and I flip the switch on my power supply I give it about 12 and a half volt or something 12.4 or something and there we go I flip the switch and all it does is basically supplies 12 volt to the riser this cable here this cable was purchased separate it did not have any connector on this end it, that's how it, that's how it comes so I have six eight pin connectors they are six and they are eight you can divide them so you have six and then you connect them you have eight so that's perfect for pretty much any card that uses three of these um, PCI Express uh, connectors and so let me go ahead and open it up for you so you can see what's going on inside I have uh, I'm using these rubber feet at the bottom so that it sits nice and steady the wiring is inside it's probably gonna be horrifying so don't freak out when when I open the cover and there it is and that's basically it so the only thing that you have to keep in mind is when you buy this display this is the one you want you want the one that has the shunt resistor built into it you do not want to get one that's got like a ring and then you run the wire through the ring through the coil that monitors the current going through that wire it's not going to be accurate you do not want to buy one you can see my box was originally designed to house this big shunt resistor here that was not accurate either this one is going to be accurate almost on point so uh, at least accurate enough uh, to do the job and basically what I have here you can see that I have a positive and negative coming in so the negative is all shared across everywhere and the positive comes in here and then it comes out through the fuse through the switch into the riser and you can see I kind of soldered it to the bottom of the riser I found the positive pins on there and the negative pin just soldered it straight on and then instead of soldering this yellow wire which would be positive for all of these for this whole bundle i just soldered it on there because the pad there and the pad here are connected and i just couldn't fit two wires into the same pad and you know it was easier to solder it here so basically they're completely they're connected and that's really all there is to it you know you uh 
plug it in, turn on your supply, plug in. So your um, PCI Express slot is never powered unless the switch is on, okay? So just make sure that you properly wire everything. So you plug it in, this one goes in here, and there we have this card. Is, I'm still trying to fix it. So nearly zero M draw, which means card is not working properly. Some some voltages aren't rising up. Now, the other way I use this is that when I let it sit here on the side, I would go and get another riser. And I power this riser with a six pin connector. So I plug that I plug this six pin into here on the side. This is why I like this particular style of riser because I can plug it onto the side and it's out of the way. Um, like here, you can plug it in here in the back. I don't like it plugged in the back. I like to plug it in on the side. So that's why I use these risers. So I plug this in because we need to power this riser in order to power the card. And we also have the external one. And all of it is coming from this box. All of it. So that way, when I flip the switch, I am monitoring the entire card. Not just the PCI slot. Not just the PCI Express uh, connector, the external connector uh, that I like to call everything. Okay, so that's basically uh, all there is I wanted to show in this uh, video real quick for you guys to understand uh, what this thing is. Just be sure that you get the correct one. You want to get this exact one. I'm going to show it to you one more time. I hope this is loud and clear for you guys. Make sure you pick up this particular one because that's I've tried several, and that's what works uh, really well. So I uh, hope you guys find this video helpful. Please hit me with a like, subscribe for more stuff, um, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm on Discord. I have my email somewhere on my profile or maybe in the description. And if you need a repair, you, you know what to do. See you later. Bye-bye.